again Ash class. You'll be thrilled to hear that it's a maths day today and you'll remember that last week in maths we learnt about addition with that dice game. This week we're doing subtraction which is when instead of getting bigger like in addition, subtraction is when the numbers get smaller and we find less or fewer of something. So we're going to warm up our brains and do a bit of counting, not just any counting, we're going to do some backwards counting because if we're subtracting we might be counting back and the number will be getting smaller. So we're going to do some backwards counting. Are you ready? Are your brains warmed up? Off we go. Okay, now I know you are super duper good at counting up in ones all the way to 20, but can you also count backwards from 20? That means we're going to start at the number 20 and we're going to count back. With, so the number will be getting smaller by one each time. We'll be saying one less each time and you can even see with the numicon above the line you can even see it getting smaller by one each time can't you so when we count back the number gets smaller off we go from 20 all the way down to 0 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Well done. Okay, we've got one last ordering game here. It's the counting caterpillar game that you can find on top marks the website. So with this game, we start with the biggest number and we have to put all the other parts of the caterpillar on wherever they go but they have to be in the right order. So they start from biggest and they go all the way down to smallest. And it might not necessarily go down in ones. In fact, this one, I know it doesn't because one less than 20 would be 19, wouldn't it? And we don't have a 19 down here. Which number is the next smallest? Hmm. Now I know that in after 20, it's all the teens numbers. And 14 is a teens number, isn't it? So I think 14, do you think that's right? Great, 14. And then it would be 13, well there's no 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, oh there's a 7, that must be next then, 7, and then it must be 6, well we haven't got a 6, what about a 5, 4, 3, and there would be a two and a one, but we don't need to because three is the smallest number we have. Let's check if we've got that right. Yay! Let's try another one. Oh, that's the same numbers. Let's reset. Here we go. So have a think in your heads. What, which number would you put next? That's 20. It would be 19, but we don't have a 19. What about 18? 17? 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Mm, yes, we do have a 15, don't we? I think that's the next biggest number. There isn't another number down here bigger than 15. 20, 15. Mm. Think that one? Yes. And then if you put four next, well done. And the smallest number again was three. Should we check? Brilliant. You can find this game on topmarks.co.uk, the website, if you'd like to play it. And if you're grown up, say so. Now we're going to move on to our next task. Great counting. Well done, everybody. Now, task B, uh, you will recognise, I think, we've done some of these challenges before. They're quite simple subtraction challenges, but they've got lots of pictures for you to cross off as you take away. So here's what they look like. I think you'll recognise them. Do you recognise that? I thought you might. So it looks a little bit like this. I'll do an example one on here. I'll just draw one up. Um, now I know on your sheet there's some lovely animal pictures. Now I'm not the best at drawing animals, but I'm going to draw little circles and you can pretend that they're animals. What animal are you going to pretend that that is? Good choice. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10 animals I've decided I've got 10 and next to your pictures of the animals you'll see a symbol and a number the symbol will be the subtract sign do you know what the subtract sign looks like can you draw it in the sky looks like that just a subtract or take away we sometimes say um, so you'll see an amount of animals take away and then a number my number for example might be three so it's going to be 10 that's how many animals I've got 10 take away three so I have to do what take away three or subtract three and then in the little circle that you'll have next to it that's not a 30 that's a circle um, you can put your answer so if I've got 10 and I take away three I'm going to do this one two three you can cross them off if you like that's fine you could cover them over you could do what you like you could cover them with counters or something take away three how many do I have left now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven animals left. So I'm going to put seven in my little answer box there, my little answer circle. Seven left. You have got numbers all the way up to 20. So they do get quite big. If you're a year one, I'm expecting you to be able to write that whole thing as a number sentence as well. So for example, you would write how many did we start with? What was our whole total number at the beginning? 10. 10. And we subtracted 3. We took away 3. And that equals, so that was the same as 10 take away 3 is equal to 7. 10 take away 3 and 7 are the same. Okay, so that's why we put that equal sign there. Year 1s, please do remember your equal sign because that's something that we often forget in year 1. Okay, so that's your extra challenge if you're a year 1 is for you to draw your own pictures to go with a number sentence. It's a bit like going backwards. So task B is you've got the pictures, you do the numbers. Task C is you've got the numbers, you do the pictures. It's just backwards. Um, backwards working is really, really good in math to get us to really understand deeply and to master a skill. So for example, instead of having the pictures for task C now, you will have a number sentence. For example, 18 and we're going to take away or subtract five. And we're going to find out what that equals. So we're going to do 18, we're going to take away five. And then we'll find out what the answer is and we'll write it at the end of our number sentence. Okay, so 18 take away five, I need to draw 18 of something. Or if you'd rather you could get them, you might get buttons, pasta or beads or whatever 18 of them and then take away five and then show that you can do it practically or you could do it with a picture i'm going to do it with a picture so i need to draw 18 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen i'm going to double check that because that was a lot and i want to make sure i've done it right one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, I've got 18. Now what do I need to do? Oh, take away 5. Oh, look, take away 5. It even tells me there what I need to do in case I forget. So take away 5. Okay, does it matter which 5 I take away? No, it doesn't. I could take away any 5 from my whole 18 number. I will get the same answer. That's pretty cool. You could maybe try that out when you do yours. Um, so I'm going to take away one, two, three, four, five. The reason I chose to take them all away, the ones that were next to each other, is just to be a bit more efficient and quicker and it would be easier for me to count them. But it didn't really matter which five I took away from my 18. So I took away one, two, three, four, five. And my answer is, how do I know what the answer is? Oh, it's what I'm left with. So whatever's left, whatever is not crossed out is what the answer is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. How do I write thirteen? Can you write it in the sky? So one and a three. I'm gonna draw it back because that's one and a three. Thirteen. And we know that's our answer, and we double checked it. And if you want to even put a circle around it just to show that why not so that is task c you've got the number sentence your job is to draw the pictures to match that was task c so enjoy happy counting and i will see you tomorrow with another daily learning challenge bye bye